Shalom. This is another wonderful day the Lord has given unto us. Welcome to uh, Divine Marriage uh, Program Online. Uh, my name is Apostle Domiziano Mwenda. We are together with my wife, uh, Pastor Florida Mwenda. Uh, we are uh, grateful God. He has really been uh, faithful to us and he has been good. And I believe he has also been good on your side. And he has kept you very well. Our God is a true God. He's a faithful God. Uh, we can really depend on him. We can rely on him. He's a faithful God. When we turn to him uh, with faithfulness, we will see his faithfulness in our lives. Welcome to Divine Marriage Program Online. We come to you every week, Monday to Friday, our vision is to raise and equip godly families. And I believe uh, God is doing wonders in your own family. And we come to remind you every time on air that marriage works. Marriage works. It was ordained by God to work. And even now, it works. What you need is to know God. We say when you ignore manual of any machine completely, and you keep on complaining about the machine or you are bad, you are mad about yourself and able to operate it and you have completely uh, ignored the manual. That is foolishness. So once you begin to complain about your wife, complain about your husband, and you have completely ignored the manual, which is the Bible, then that is the act of foolishness. When you study the word of God, you understand how is man and how is woman and how are they ordained to operate. A woman is ordained and created to operate in an environment of love. So once you deny our love, you force her to malfunction. Man is created to operate in an environment of honor. If you deny him honor, you force him to be to malfunction. Male, you are the foundation of the family. Therefore, you have to take the leadership. Once you become passive, you kill the vision. You kill the family. And the institution is easily overthrown. But when you stand your ground that you lead, you become a king that you are. You provide wisdom. You provide direction. Ah. Uh, the family will move on, not only the family, also the nation will move on. Female, you are saying not to compete with the male. Uh, there is no competition in marriage. You are there to compliment him. You are there to help, not to destroy. And you are the crown of this man. Once you take over your position as the crown of the man, and then you submit as the word as ordained, then marriage will begin to function. Uh, many couples are complaining that their marriage is not working. Others are saying uh, this is something that is very tedious, very difficult. But when you ask them, what have you done? Uh, some of us have done nothing. So you cannot expect something to come out of nothing. You have to be in charge. You have to take charge. You have to take control. Uh, where the input is constant, don't expect the output to be different. But when you want to change the, the, the output, you must change the input. So you cannot be complaining and you are doing nothing about your relationship. Many couples are very, very reluctant when it comes to marriage or they have attached a very little value to their own marriage. The Bible says marriage should be uh, honored by all. All, all means all, and the bed is supposed to be kept pure. You are supposed to honor your own marriage, and when you honor that marriage and keep the bed pure, then God will bless you because he honors the institution of marriage. So welcome uh, to Divine Marriage Program where uh, marriage works, and we tell you for sure it really works. You may be frustrated right now, but I want to tell you, what you need is just information that you rise above where you are and you are going to see God works, working out what is 
uh, looking like it will not work in your life. If you have gotten and uh, you are you are you are your part and know and run it, then God will do his part. And it's wrong, it's wrong in marriage when your partner is competing for you or distressed because you cannot give him or her attention. Your, your wife is dying to have your attention. Your husband is dying to have your attention. It's wrong. You are supposed to be there to uh, kill that loneliness and make sure that uh, this man is, is well taken care of. This woman is well taken care of. And uh, you are there. A man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. So it's cleaving that makes you one uh, flesh. But there is a process. There must be living and then cleaving. Uh, when you cannot live, you can't cleave. And if you can't cleave, you can't become one flesh. And that is the biggest uh, level of marriage when the one, two, two sh shall become one flesh. And that's the biggest joy. When two operate like one. And this is possible when you are married in the mind, married also in the spirit, and then you are married in the body. Then life becomes so easy. You operate like one flesh. And that is where joy is in a marriage relationship. Welcome to Divine Marriage Program Online. Please let us know where you are tuned in from. And uh, uh, we also encourage you to help us spread this word of God. Uh, through uh, sharing this post to your friends and also hosting watch parties. You do that, you will be a very faithful servant and you will be helping us a lot. Please don't just watch. Begin to hold watch parties with your friends. Share the information with them and let them get this information. You have groups that are within your reach. Share the message to the groups. Host watch parties with those groups. And I want to tell you for sure, many are getting the message. I was reading some uh, uh, messages, uh, the, the reactions of people of last night's program, and it was very encouraged. There's so much that is happening. There's so much that is going on across uh, many nations through the divine marriage program. Marriages are no longer the same. I, there's one person saying, my marriage cannot be the same again after getting this information. Now we thank God because ours is to avail this information to you and I believe it is really helping you. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They have gone to captivity for they lack knowledge. We don't want you to go to captivity. We don't want you to be reduced to nothing because you are not informed. So you need to get the information and this information, I want to guarantee you, when you put it into <coughs> practice, you shall see the results. You shall see happiness in your own marriage. You shall see things happening uh, in your own marriage. It's, it will work and you will see it working and it cannot go wrong. The word of God is true and it has been tried. So what we are teaching is based in the word of God. And we are teaching marriage in the Bible way. Marriage in the Bible way. That is why we are raising godly family. There are so many marriages. Marriage in traditional way. There's civil marriage. There's tradition marriage. There's a kind of marriage. There's religion marriage. But we have come to you with a godly marriage. And this is what uh, we want to teach you and we keep, to, uh, keep on teaching you and it is going to help you. We are still discussing the price of the happy marriage. What are you supposed to pay? What, are you, what will it cost you? Because happy marriage will cost you something. It will not just come. It will not just come. I always keep on saying a good marriage is not an automatic result of two people who love one another. It's not an automatic result of people, two people who love one another. There is something you need to do. There is knowledge you need to apply. And good garden, doesn't matter what kind of seed is sown there, if it is not taken care of, no harvest. So you cannot say I will automatically have harvest because I sowed a good seed on a good land. It's not possible. There is something needed.
to be done so that you can harvest. To be done so that you can enjoy that harvest. I believe you have heard the message. I want to invite my wife now to bring us the word of prayer. And then we will enter direct into the information. But I want to remind the male again. You are the foundation. You are the foundation of family. Please understand that. Arise and take over. Lead. The woman is not supposed to be complaining about the relationship almost every time. She is not supposed to be complaining and taking charge of a relationship. You are the one who is supposed to take charge. She should not be bringing on issues of relationship all the times. And you male, you're just there. Uh -uh. Please arise. Help me to welcome my wonderful, beautiful wife to pray and then we begin tonight's topic. And I believe you're getting blessed. God bless you. Welcome, my dear. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, kindly, we, uh, we thank God because of your lives. We just pray that your lives will never be the same. Uh, we would wish to know from where you're watching us from. It is very important. We can see also the servants of God are already on board and uh, we salute them. Uh, this program has got many mwendas, so all mm. the mwendas on board. The anointing of mwendas. <laughs> mm. Yeah, may the Lord bless them and uh, do them good. And uh, let us know uh, from where you're watching us from, if you're getting us loud and clear, and also what the Lord is doing through this program. There are many lives that are being transformed, many parents. They are thanking God because uh, of what even God is doing in the, in the lives of their, uh, of their sons and daughters. So we are not just uh, doing something that is uh, not backed by God. God is backing whatever we are doing and we are just here to blow the trumpet. There's something that God wants with uh, marriages this season and we cannot just ignore. So kindly do something do something to that marriage do something uh concerning your relationship with your wife with your husband and uh the lord will also empower whatever you are doing be willing to sacrifice something be willing to part with something be willing to incur some cost and when i'm saying cost cost uh can vary according to the individual. So uh, if you are not willing to do something, if you are not willing to, uh, to sacrifice, you may not see what you dreamt. Every dream is valid when it is worked on. Every vision is valid when you have done something. You, it, it's one thing to see the vision. It's another thing for that vision to materialize. Many of us still they have uh, pictures in their minds of the marriages that they wished to have. But for all those years, you have not seen it manifest. Something must be done. <clears throat> Something must be done. Work that which you saw, and uh, the Lord will be glorified. We want to pray so that we can begin tonight's program. Uh, as I was saying, let us, let us know where you are tuned in from. Also, if you have uh, uh, something that... You can, you can add on what we are uh, doing here. Maybe you have a challenge. Maybe you have a question that is related to marriage. Uh, please, this is the right uh, uh, platform that you can use so that you can be helped. And uh, I believe the Lord is determined to do something interesting, to do something awesome in this season. So don't be left out. Don't be left out. There is the grace that has been released. Make use of it. Don't take the grace of God for granted. The Lord bless you. The Lord do you good. May he shield each one of us as we begin up to the end. Let us uh, connect to him so that we hear what he has for us. Let's pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we are grateful again for another opportunity, Lord. Whenever we come, uh, on board to do this assignment. We know it is by your grace. We know, Lord, 
It is you who has helped us. It is not by our strength. It's not by our wisdom. It is not God, even by our making, but it is by your grace. That's why we submit and we honor you, God, with our lives and everything within us and even without. We thank you because of our families. We thank you for bringing us together. We thank you for upholding us, Lord. And we bless your beautiful name. And we decree you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored. You are worthy to be lifted up, Lord. We refuse to lift other things in our families. We refuse, Lord, to substitute you in with anything in our families. Where, Lord, there's a, a family that has uh, substituted you even with what you have given unto them tonight we pray that the revelation of your word will come their way that lord they will see where they are coming from they will see your grace in their lives and they will begin to honor you and to exhort you and to worship you alone but not to worship what you have given unto them we bless you and lord we pray also for sanctification. Cleanse our minds, cleanse our hearts, cleanse our bodies. Thank you, Father. Thank you for you are our Jireh. You are our provision. You have become our shepherd all the way. You have become our victory, Lord. You have become our joy. You are the I am that I am. You are everything that we desire in life. And that's why we lift even in this program. We cut every plan of the enemy against what you're doing in this season. We decree and declare no power of the enemy is permitted to interfere with, the, with your will and plan and purpose in Jesus' mighty name. Have your way and Lord, let your Holy Spirit lead us. Let your Holy Spirit help us. Let your Holy Spirit give us the right counsel in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray the Lord will be willing to walk in obedience, to unveil to your will, to do what is right before you, to please you and Lord God. All the honor and glory shall come back to you. Oh, I pray that your presence will go with us all through. Oh, blessed be your name now and forevermore, Lord. This we are praying, believing, and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We thank God for many, many people that are still uh, being connected. Kindly, you can host watch parties. Uh, reach, out, uh, reach out to many through your gadget and uh, just allow some people that you are connected with to hear what God is saying. You will be uh, uh, the vessel that the Lord will be using when you do that. So don't just uh, uh, come and uh, watch. At least connect. Connect some people. Call them. Call them. Invite them. And uh, let him become the voice of God. Let him become the, 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 the vessel that the Lord will be proudly of uh, as we continue with this agenda. Let us hold our faith together. Let us hold our, our hands together as we are doing this. And the Lord will bless you and the Lord will do you good. We have been uh, doing a, a, an amazing topic that has become unique <laughs> since last week. It, it, it is a topic that I believe there's something hidden in it on how to pay the price for a happy marriage. And uh, we are reminding uh, us that if you're seeing uh, some people out there, they believe in God and they are happy, they are uh, continuing in this journey together, there is a secret behind. Nothing just happens because it is uh, maybe people are desiring it to happen. There is no joy that you just come because you want to be happy. There is no progress or success in any area, including marriage, uh, simply because you, you, you are wishing or you are desiring uh, to see those things happen. So we are coming tonight to remind us that there is a price attached. There is a cost that is attached to every happiness that at least will last, that will uh, dwell or that will uh, be for, uh, that, that will dwell in that marriage of yours. And we have seen many things that we are supposed to, uh, to, to do to pay the price. Uh, and uh, before I, I even mention what we have been dealing with, uh, there's something that my as bad as just mentioned, especially when it comes to uh, uh, what God commanded, that a man shall leave, shall leave his father and mother and cleave 
to his wife and they shall become one and this has also become a problem because some people have not yet uh, uh, paid that price of living they have not left there are many men they, they, they may not even be uh, where their parents are living but still they have not left they are controlled they are being controlled by what their parents want done in their marriage in other words they are duplicating their parents marriage to their own marriage and this has become a turbulence that marriage has not settled because you cannot do if your father has not said uh, still the same case as some ladies they cannot do what their mothers or what their fathers have not uh, directed so uh, it has become a problem it has become a challenge uh, a woman want to do in a in a marriage what our parents are dictating the man want to do what their parents are dictating and the the two of you it has become very hard to board it has become very hard to become that system that institution that God would wish to display his glory so even living and cleaving it is another uh, thing that you should watch because every marriage there's there's a diversity of glory that God wants to uh, to receive and if, if, if you are finding it hard to detach yourself if you're finding it hard to have an independent uh, institution in the name of an, a family that is listening to what God wants. It is good to obey parents. It is good. It is good to take the advice, but you should not be there just to du duplicate whatever whatever they are dictating. If they tell you don't buy this, you can't buy. If they tell you don't don't travel, you can't travel. If they tell you uh, don't hand another child, you cannot hand another child. And it has become an issue. So please, it is always important to know that your marriage is very important and it should be founded in a foundation of what God has commanded. And we have understood several things that we are, we are supposed to do so that we can pay the price. And uh, I, whatever you have in life, whatever you are enjoying in life, it is that which you are willing to pay for. It is that which you are willing to do something concerning. Even some things that you are enjoying uh, through that career, through the businesses that you're doing, if you can sit down, you see truly I have paid a price. And we have said severally that many couples, they have attached values in many, many things that concerns their lives. But when it comes to their marriage, they have no value. They take it lightly and they think it will be automatic. Marriage is not just automatic. You must invest a lot to see what God wants uh, or what you desire uh, from that marriage. And we understood you should be, uh, uh, you should maintain your spirituality. Some people say don't be spiritual, but, uh, but we understand we are we are the images of God. We are created with the likeness of God. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And we should also be spiritual. We should allow the Holy Spirit of God to lead us in marriages. The Holy Ghost is the best teacher. He will teach you. He is a helper. So in other words, uh, a woman is, is, is positioned in, in that place of, 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 the, of, of the Holy Spirit in marriage. So when you are uh, in maintaining your spirituality, you will be able to do things right. You will be able to understand. There are some things that are no eye has ever seen concerning marriage. There are some things that no ear has ever uh, heart, no mind has ever perceived concerning a man, concerning a woman. And the moment you maintain your spirituality, your marriage will have those uniqueness because the Holy Ghost will reveal, he will help you in, to an adventure in the realm of the spirit. He will help you as a, um, as a woman. You will be a perfect helper. You will be a perfect supporter of this man that you are you you are given by god and it will be very awesome we still understood on how to maintain our divine position understand it is from our divine position we thrive it is from our divine positioning we receive our bless our blessings if if, if something is sent uh, or if someone sent you something and 
uh, that let me take especially when you are using uh uh, the post office you could you could post uh, you could write a letter and you send it to someone you use the address if that person <laughs> uh, shift from that place and if that uh, maybe letter or that mail uh, is, is, is is delivered to that to that post office and uh, the person that the mail was addressed to has shifted then even if those mails will continue or even if the letters will continue to be sent to that person he or she will never receive anything because he has already relocated and when it comes to our divine positioning even in families there are blessings that are ordained for each and every family there are victories so automatically there are battles that you can meet yourselves losing because of being displaced from your uh, divine position when it comes to the realm of the spirit, when it comes to your marriage. There is a location that has been allocated for each and every family. There is something that God wants always to release in your marriage and that blessing, that whatever God releases, it always, it is sent uh, through your addresses and if you miss if you relocate and you are no longer in that position, then your blessings are diverted because you will never, you will never uh, receive them. And this has become a problem because many couples, they, as long as they are displaced from their divine position, they cannot agree, they cannot see right, they cannot speak right, they cannot do things right. Because when you are displaced, uh, you are perverted and it is a big blow to many uh, couples. So if you will continue to enjoy the victory, the blessing, the favor, the grace of God, the flow, the goodness of God, you must maintain your divine positioning. Many people, they have already uh, lent themselves to some wildernesses, to some deserts, to some things that they were not supposed to meet with because of the way they have behaved when it comes to their divine positioning. And we understood some examples. Abraham comes to the land of Canaan, then he just decides to go down to Egypt because of famine. What happened? He met some things that were not ordained. So there are some battles, there are some confusions that many families go through simply because of being displaced uh, from their divine uh, position. And also we understood uh, on how to maintain your identity. <laughs> Uh, to maintaining your character it is very very crucial if, if your character is corrupted if your character if your integrity is not uh, the right integrity as a man if you are not right as a woman if you are corrupted when it comes to your character then your family will go through shakeups you experience some hiccups that were not meant so it requires a lot of discipline that is the price that you have to pay and if you pay it uh, well, then you will have the happiness that you want. Today, there are some many people, whatever they are fighting with, it is because of some seasons that they came in their lives and they were not able to stand when it comes to character. Also, knowledge, it is another thing. It is a price that is attached to your happiness. Uh, we understand in the word of God, get knowledge and don't pay. Uh, I mean, buy knowledge and don't sell it so knowledge is very crucial if you don't have the knowledge of god you perish the people of god the people of god includes the uh, the the families of believers so if the people of god lack knowledge then they perish even if god wants God want to do something great in their lives as long as they have embraced ignorance Rather than uh, embracing knowledge, it, 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 it will cost them and they will meet uh, themselves suffering some things that uh, they are not supposed to suffer. So it is important to have knowledge concerning marriage, gather information, the right knowledge, apply it. And uh, the Lord is going to help you. We were dealing with endurance uh, yesterday, enduring hardships or patience, being patient. 
even with that with one another being patient to see the promises of God being patient to work together to grow together in your marriage being patient to come from uh, the dust and you are lifted up together so sometimes you may not start from where you you saw God uh, speaks our hand from the beginning but that does not mean that you because God spoke your hand uh, and he reviewed your hand you meet yourself in that glory uh, there is the time of dreaming and there is the time of the manifestation of the dream there so you 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 may have that dream uh, concerning the the glorious marriage yes it is it is very important that you saw it from god but there is a process and this process not many wait to see if joseph could just give up and succumb, especially when they are, uh, the, 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 their brother or his brothers uh, betray him. And if he could just break down and see as if God lied, he could die without achieving what God revealed. So there are many battles that are attached to the glory. There are many battles that you may face as a couple. Uh, and there are some many moments that you will face you will experience some pains. You may, you, you will experience even some, some disappointment, some frustrations. That does not. So you are not supposed to give up on yourself. You're not supposed to give up on your husband. You're not supposed to give up on your wife. You should endure. Your wife may be tempted. She may turn to be something that you never saw. Your husband may have a season. And it may turn to be something that you never saw in your vision. And you never dreamt. Yes, you never dreamt it. But this man has turned to be that thing. Will you stand? Mm -hmm. Or will you abandon your marriage? Will you stand? Will you endure? Will you wait until God uh, transforms this person again? So we have uh, to be very, very strong. Those who endure up to the end, they are celebrated. Those who endure up to the end, the Lord pities them. The Lord shows them mercy. So sometimes we are, we are trying to desire even the mercies of God. We are trying to call God to come in our marriage. But God is just looking. What have these people conquered? What have they endured? How, how, how far can they go? How far can they wait? So it, it is our responsibility to endure and uh, also to wait upon the Lord. To wait upon the Lord. Today you may be down, but I want to tell you there are days that will come if you just endure. And the days of testing the glory of God, you shall see them if you endure. Today you may not be having all what you want. Today, you might be even having challenge, even to have something to eat. But I want to tell you that's not a permanent place. That is not a permanent place. So uh, as a man, be strong, be encouraged that there are days that things cannot work. Maybe you can, you can be straining even to feed your family. But that does not mean that you have become a useless man. At least you're doing something. As a woman, uh, things may be very tough. But I want to tell you, hold on unto faith. Hold on unto faith and uh, endure. And the Lord is going to bless you. The Lord is going to lift you. So be thou encouraged. Trust in the Lord. Fix your eyes unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith. As a wife, just hold on to faith. Support the vision of your husband. Be there. Submit to this uh, man. Just desire God to give you more grace. And I tell you, the Lord is not the respect of persons. He is the respect of his word. Uh, because the moment you do what is right, the moment you connect yourself to do the word of God, then the Lord is going to bless you and to do you good. Amen.